Hey guys, how's it going? It is Woody HD and welcome to the next round of the MotoGP Championship. I think this is the 27th episode of the Championship. We are in the next round. It is the German round, the Saxon ring, the one with the huge waterfall dip, tight, tight corners and a really entertaining track. And we are top of the Championship at the moment. Last time out in Aston, we did get a win to extend the lead, but can we extend it even further again this time round? Let's get in the qualifying and see if we can get on pole position. So here we go then is the next round of the championship from the Saxa ring, the German round. And we are trying to extend the championship lead even further. We have I think a 16 point lead currently over a bat in the championship. Can we extend it in this round? We are about to find out. The overall the season so far has been pretty decent. We've had a couple of wins, a couple of poor performances though as well. Uh, we could be further ahead in the championship, but... Even though 16... Whoa, my word! Oh my god, that is a very expensive crash. Flippin' heck. Okay, that's that lap pretty much gone. Okay, so we're starting off quite badly there. That's not a good start to this uh, this round. But yeah, like I said, the championship's been going alright. But 16 points, uh, I was going to say, is nowhere near enough. We can't think that we've won it because we definitely haven't. There's so many races to come. So many things can happen between now and the end of the season, so we have just got to try and make sure we get on pole position as much as we can, get as high up in the race as we can, try and win every race, try and collect as many points as possible, and most importantly, keep ahead of our rivals in the, at the end of races and in qualifying to make sure that we do try and get our first World Championship. Because last time, obviously, more three, I think we finished second. Well, third was it. We were quite far behind in the end due to a poor start. But we've had a much better start to this championship. So long may it continue. And we are coming up once again, like we did last round, on our challenger. One of the challengers for the title. Rabat, who is currently 16 points behind me. And second in the championship. So is he going to hold me up? I was going to say, why are you holding me up? But this lap isn't really, isn't really going to count anyway. Neck and neck. I mean, I this could this might not end well. Whoa! 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 Don't fall off. Don't fall off. Whoa! Flippin' act. This is bad. This qualifying is bad, everybody. This qualifying is bad. This is not going well. This is not going well at all. We might be well down the pack here. Come the end of this qualifying, I'll try and get up as far as I can, try and go as fast as I can around the lap without going too fast because we don't want to go off or crash again. We'll have any more incidents. Oh, can we pull some of it back? We're currently 11th. Rabat slowed right down. Whoa! I don't know what he's doing. Is he going around on a, a non. Like, is he, is he trying to race, trying to go around fast this lap, or what? He seemed to be slowing down then and speeding back up. We're coming down into the last few corners. The bike, as you can clearly see, is quite damaged. Tires are alright, we're coming to the last corner. Whoa. Onto the, on, on the home straight, here we go. To the line, we're not going to get first. Ninth, that is not good enough. Ninth position, oh dear me. So there we go, we only managed 10th place, 1.1 seconds behind due to a terrible qualifying session. As I said, as I said, this championship is far from over, anything could happen, and we've had one bit of drama already. And to make it worse, the person who's second in the championship at the moment, Rabat, is on pole. So let's try and get back through the field, and let's try and get a win from all the way back in 10th. So here we go then, it is the next round, we are currently starting a 10th position on the on the track. It's the Saxa ring round, the German round, and we're wheeling off the line again. Why do we keep doing that at the moment? Whoa. Let's stop the wheeling. Whoa, 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 whoa. Don't be too hasty into your... We're getting jammed, we're getting squeezed. we got to start making early moves though, we have to, although I don't want to go really close to them. And risk something happening. We, oh my word. We've got to make early moves to try and catch the guys at the front. Because we don't want them going away. 
uh, getting away from us, especially we're back. Good, good driver of that, coming into this left-hander, making a move. No, dual shocks getting low. That's not good. Whoa! Flipping out. Coming down into your currently eighth position. Can we make a move? Oh, right on the back of Cortese. This is not the most smoothest race in the world, I must admit. But we're making progress. Try not to wheelie out of here because we lose. Now, can we get in the slipstream? The bike's a lot more powerful than it was before. Due to the data packs. Tazy looking at the inside of me there. Making good progress, making good progress. Around the outside of Calio. Whoa, coming into this tight right hand and up the hill. Ooh. Whoa, we're getting past, we're getting past. Got to get a good line out of here. That was good, that was good. That was a good driver of that. That guy there, we're backed. We cannot let him get away. We cannot let him get away. This is like a recreation of Assen in the first lap all over again. Just sitting behind these two. I think it was Vinales anyway. Just sitting behind these two. Bide my time. Not risk anything. But we've gone for first. We've gone for first. There's no doubt they're going to fight back. We're back on like that. Into the last corner already. Almost onto the last lap already. Onto the home straight, not much wheelie, which is good. Come on, full power. Track record as well, but that's not the most important thing right now. The most important thing is trying to get the win. Up into the high part of the track again and then dipping down. Coming up now. Whoa, trying to hit these apexes, but the tyres are spinning and sliding like fuck. Should be able to hopefully pull away from them here if I can get a good line. And this tricky left hander and another one. Onto the waterfall, I think it's called. This amazing dip. This amazing drop here. 2.1 seconds ahead of Rabak. We want Vinales ready to pass him. But we've got to concentrate on ourselves. Coming up to the last corner. Coming onto the last corner and up onto the home straight. It could it be another win? It looks like it's going to be. I can't wheelie, but we are across the line from 10th position. We managed to get the win and another vital result. So there we go. We do get the win from 10th position. It wasn't easy. It was quite a sloppy race. It wasn't really that smooth. We were spinning the tyres. We were sliding everywhere. We had a few moments, but we do manage to get the win by 4.4 seconds ahead of Rabat. And that is good news because that... Extends the championship lead now, I think, from 16 to 21 points and further extends the championship lead away from the rest. But there is plenty more races still to come. And like we saw in qualifying, and this championship is far from over. So, guys, thank you for watching today's video. Hope you enjoyed. Please like, subscribe, and I'll see all of you guys in the next video.